Hi, it's Rick here from the CAD Jewelry School and today I thought we'd take a look at a new feature in Maverick Render. This was released in the most recent update. It's currently the 20th of May 2020 and the most recent update includes a feature to allow you to save your images out with a transparent alpha mask. So this is great for people who want to render their images for a product website where you want a transparent background. and I'll just give you a quick look at how that feature works. The first thing is that you'll see in this image that I've got depth of field enabled. So depth of field is a great tool to enable for realistic renderings when you've got a background enabled. But because we're going to be using a blank or transparent background, it's best to disable the depth of field. So you can do that by right clicking and uh, just clicking disable global depth of field. And the other thing you want to do is just check your render size or your render window. So you can come here and set your uh, resolution here. So for uh, product rendering on a website, you know, you probably want to use at least 1280 by 720. Uh, but if you want a, a large image uh, or one that you can zoom into, uh, say on a product page, you might want to set that a bit higher, maybe to 1920 by 1080. It's probably a good resolution. If it's just a small image for emailing or for uh, you know small product shots, you can go a bit smaller. But uh, I, I'd recommend generally rendering as a large image as you can. So choose your resolution. I'll just leave mine set as it is, just to speed this up. And the next thing we want to do is basically just draw a bounding box around your entire ring and select everything. And if you then just right click you can enable object region render. So that will just wipe out the background image and uh, although it's showing here in black, it will actually render your image out with a transparent background and you can save it as a PNG file. So I'll just let this run. And once your image has finished rendering, you can click Save Image and save it as a PNG file. So make sure you change your extension if you've been using JPEG or something. Make sure you change it to a .png file type and give the file a name. I'll just use this one. The other important thing is that you want to embed the alpha channel so that will create the transparency for you. So just make sure that little slider switch is, is switched on and enabled and then just click OK. So once you've saved your image, you can come into Photoshop and we'll open up that file. And that's it. If you want, you can crop that to size or do whatever you want with it after that. You can obviously use any of the Photoshop processing tools to edit that image or apply a different background. So if you wanted to, for instance, you know, you could uh, create a new layer. I'll just drop this layer down, drag it down below the ring, and we can fill that layer, let's say, with white or something like that. So that's basically it. That's how you create a transparent PNG file for your website. If I just come back into Maverick Render here, I'll just draw a bounding box around all this again and right click and I'll just disable Object Region Render to go back to the original image. I hope that helps. Bye for now.